Good morning, Bexley Heath Academy. It is Thursday the 9th of April and I hope that you're enjoying a fantastic Easter break. It's been great to see lots of you participating in the Easter programme of activities that are available via the virtual learning dashboard and I hope that you're looking forward to a restful Easter weekend. Good morning guys, it's Miss Luther and here I am with your favourite slot, the birthday slot. Yesterday we spoke about celebrating at home, celebrating really safely and using different apps maybe to go ahead and still be able to party hard but from your phone um, with your friends. Um, it was brought to my attention that the house party app wasn't the best app to be using and actually Charlie Lees, you've been very helpful with that. So Charlie has recommended something called Discord. You've also got Facebook Messenger that you could be using. Again, staying home still be able to celebrate your birthday and being with your friends. So today's birthday is quite a few and all seeming to be from 10 and 11. So happy birthday to the following people. We've got Kai, who's going to be 15 in year 10. Happy birthday to you. Tia Barnes, you're going to be 15 in year 10 as well. Again, happy birthday to you. Precious, you are 16 today and in year 11. Happy birthday to you. Alexander, you are 15 today and in year 10. Happy, happy birthday to you. And Jack, you are 16 and year 11. Guys, celebrating, staying safe and staying home. Hi guys, it's Mr Sparks here recording live from my kitchen. I just wanted to wish you all a wonderful Easter weekend and also introduce to you today one of our competitions where there is a prize up for grabs. On the screen now you can see our Bexley Heath Academy Easter Egg. That Easter Egg is virtually hidden in one of the pages on the virtual learning dashboard. Your job is first of all to find that Easter Egg which is hidden. Once you find the egg, click on it and it will take you to an Easter quiz with 10 multiple choice Easter related questions. The first student or member of staff who completes that quiz and correctly gets 10 out of 10 will not only win a shout out obviously in one of next week's assemblies, but also win an Easter related prize. So good luck, have a wonderful weekend and we look forward to seeing you all in Tuesday's assembly next week. Bye bye now. Good morning Bexley Heath Academy, welcome to this The Fact of the Day with Mr Watkins. Now firstly you're probably wondering why I'm recording from what appears to be an Alpine Lodge. It's true, I've managed to go as far away as I can and be isolated on my own. It's brilliant. Now here's to the fact of the day. I bet you didn't know that all of the bananas grown in the United Kingdom are genetically identical, they're clones. In fact 99% of the bananas that are sold and eaten in the developed world are all from a sub variety known as the Cavendish. Now the Cavendish was actually first grown in the United Kingdom in about 1830 in a place called Chatsworth House in the Peak District. It's from this single plant that all other plants can be traced. So the bananas that you're eating all belong to that same species, the Cavendish. Now, because they are genetically identical, it actually leaves them open to disease. With no mutation, there's no diversity, and there's no chance of genetic protection from disease. But we do get bananas that are the same size and the same flavor. In fact, people like the Cavendish so much, five billion are eaten in the United Kingdom every year. It's about 70 bananas each. Now we've seen bananas be wiped out before. The previous number one choice was known as the Gros Michel or Big Mike. Now Big Mike had a sweeter taste. In fact, it's the banana taste that's used in banana flavored sweets. Big Mike was in fact devastated by a plight known as Panama disease. The Cavendish though is resistant and it was similar enough to the Gros Michel. So it's planted across hundreds of thousands and then millions of acres of land in Guatemala. The Cavendish is now the number one choice for people around the world. It's the number one choice for me. Have a lovely day. Hi guys, it's Miss Luther. I'm back again. I'm here to talk to you about Lysio's Kitchen. Thank you to all of you that have gone ahead and watched that video and the comments that you've uh, sent us through email telling us how much you've enjoyed it, how you'll be using the recipes over the next couple of days have been really inspirational um, and so therefore we're going to continue producing these videos for you. So they're just on our YouTube channel and it's Alicio, our master chef um, here at Bexley Heath Academy who's going to be cooking his secret recipes. Uh, well, they're not going to be secret anymore because you're going to be able to follow them step by step. Now, today's video that's going to go up onto our YouTube channel is the Tajine video, uh, which you'll be able to follow step by step. Um, again, we'll be trying to upload as many videos as possible over the next couple of days. That brings us to the end of this morning's assembly. I mean, it's been great to hear about all the planned things for the weekend and the week ahead. But as it is a holiday weekend, please remember that the rules that apply to all of us 
are still in place. It is important that we stay at home and are only leaving if it's absolutely essential. If we do, please remember the two metre distancing rule and making sure that we're staying isolated away from other people. Um, thirdly, making sure that we're washing our hands regularly and carefully. Um, and then finally, for the Easter weekend, the very best wishes from everyone at Bexley Heath Academy. Um, please stay safe, stay well, and we'll look forward to seeing you on Tuesday of next week.